Good evening everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshit Goda. In this episode, I will introduce you to Giovanni Cavalletto. He is an expert from the Californian avocado industry and he has experience in packhouse management, sourcing and marketing of avocados. If you have any questions related to packhouse management of avocados, then post your questions in the comment section down below and I'll ask Mr. Cavalletto those questions and come back to you with a reply. So, can you tell me a bit more about yourself, what you do, how did you get into the avocado trade, uh, how long have you been in the industry? And Absolutely. So I, uh, th and thank you very much for this opportunity. So I grew up on a lemon and avocado farm on the central coast of California in San Luis Obispo County okay. specifically, yeah. uh, went away for university, studied. Um, got a degree in international agricultural development, okay. um, was hired by a packer shipper and lived in Mexico for a couple of years uh, right. before the before the U.S. opened for the U.S. Uh, avocado market. Uh, was kind of what we call a bird dog or doing quality control for export shipments to Japan, Europe, and Canada at that right. time. Yeah. Then I came back, uh, worked uh kind of leased some lemon and avocado farms in my hometown for about 10 years while working as a, a field representative for the same packer i went to mexico with yeah. um, then from there i uh, was invited to run the packing house for another 10 years or so in okay. southern california yeah. and then focus primarily on sourcing um running a team in California and then a team for sourcing throughout Latin America, mostly Mexico, both Michoacan and Jalisco, as well as uh, we also handled a lot of fruit from Peru, Chile, and we're just launching a Colombian program. Uh, can you repeat the last bit? Uh, I lost connection over there. You just launched a what? Uh, running the sourcing program so I had a team in California and then also had a team um, sourcing uh, out of Mexico both Michoacan and Jalisco as well as uh, fruit from South America Peru Chile and and Colombia okay. right. so your main work was around sourcing right Sourcing, packing, uh, marketing. I was a, uh, another thing when I was at university, I did my thesis on the establishment of a federal marketing board. Um, before that, California only had a state marketing board to promote California avocados. As we saw the explosion in imports, we knew that we were going to need more money to build the market. Um, so I did my thesis on setting up the what became the Haas Avocado Board, whereby uh, through a federal um, lawmaking process, uh, each, each uh, carton of Haas Avocado sold in the United States, uh, the norm is 11.3 kilos per carton, mm -hmm. is assessed uh, 62 cents. It's mm -hmm. roughly 2.5 cents per pound is the way the law is set up yeah. um, that generates all told um, about 75 million dollars and for, and that 75 million dollars has to be um, has to be spent on advertising and so in each country has its own board so the yeah. has avocado board is kind of a pass-through they keep 15% uh, of that money for research and some promotions. And then 85% of that is passed through to uh, each country. So you have the California Avocado Commission, the Mexican Hass Avocado Importers Association. They buy the Super Bowl ad, the Peruvian Avocado Commission, the Colombian Avocado Board, the Chilean Avocado Importers Association. Yeah. So I was a founding member at the Hass Avocado Board um, 
the Mexican Hass Avocado Importers Association and the Colombian Avocado Board. And I also sat with the Peruvian. So, and all of that was really focused on advertising. Where can you get the, the best um, return on investment, whether that is done via billboards, via radio, via um, in-store uh, demos where they're uh, giving out little slices of avocado in-store, um, a lot of different promotional activities. I hope you found the video interesting. I'll be publishing more content uh, very soon. So I hope you subscribe. That way you will automatically get notified whenever I post something new. Thank you for watching. Bye.